the teachers like they're not even necessarily full stand-up comedians they're just like very funny teachers and yeah. i'm like they're crushing and they're going around the country they're, and it's not it's not even full jokes no it's students they're like students don't really turn in their homework dying yes yes yeah. yes yes you know you know when the kids don't sit in their seat right <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah Do you know I was just thinking about this morning? What? I was thinking about when we were in Texas together. Yes. And we did shows together. Mm -hmm. And we were driving down the highway. And at the same exact moment, do you know what I'm about to say? Well, there were so many things when we were <laughs> going on the highway. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> the thing. That's the thing. I was like, I don't know which. That's the thing about the highway yeah. on that trip. We were driving down the highway. And at the exact same moment, we realized what uh, the HOV lane meant. Do you remember oh, that? Yes, 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 yes. And I that? already forget what High it stands occupancy for. vehicle. That's it, that's it, that's it. And I didn't know that it had a meaning. <laughs> no. Do you know what I mean? I didn't. I was just like, hove. I thought it meant like, I thought it was like the vroom lane. Like, yes, like, you got to move over here. Yeah. yeah. No, I did not know that it stood for something. I didn't know it was an acronym. We were driving through Texas. <laughs> we were going from Houston to Dallas to do shows. Yes. And we both at the same time went, <laughs> there's a sign. We both at the same time went, Huh? Oh. And I went. What was yours about? <laughs> and you go. I just realized. And I go. I just realized. <laughs> also had no idea. High occupancy yeah. vehicle. And I'm like, it's making sense. Oh. High. Yeah. Occupancy. Boom. Boom. Vehicle. Broom, broom. Yeah. Yeah. There's multiple yeah, people. Yeah. That's why you get the special lane. Yeah. 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 It all added up. And in that moment, I was like, damn. To learn something so that a four year old knows <laughs> with your other adult no, friend no, in no, that no, moment. No, no. No. And then there was, of course, and then there was, of course, the part of the trip where we drove through <laughs> a hurricane, really? It was raining so hard, and you were being so chill about it. In I was my being mind, strong. I was being you strong. You were being like, hey, this ain't no thing. I, I'm cool with the <laughs> rain. I don't mind. Guess what? The, I'm driving. In my heart, fear. <laughs> it was raining so hard. Yes. The other cars are like sliding off the highway. Yes. The rain is coming down so far. We cannot see two feet in front of the windshield. <laughs> no. And you were trying to play it cool, but you're not, you were not being a very good actor in the moment. <laughs> Because you are no. a good actor, but in the moment you were like, you were like, yeah, I think we um, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, I think I was just going off of your energy, which felt so calm, and I was like, well, Kayla's chilling. Then, then Rachel, you need to be chill. Then yeah. you need to calm down and just be along for the ride, and it's fine. But I was like, damn, we could skid off the road at any second. And there were a couple little like shakes, and I was like, oh. we hydroplaned. We definitely hydroplaned, and it was, yeah. it was a lot of. It was raining. It was thundering really loud. It was yes. a big ass storm. Yes. And the roads were starting in real time we were watching the roads flood yes like they were like the the, the oceans the the rivers were like rising yes. next to us and we were like damn that's happening presently yes and yeah then, there was even that one moment when we were about to go through the water remember when we were driving and it was like oh we kind of weren't even really paying attention and then out of nowhere it was like the water was coming was up like, over the wheels like starting to come <laughs> it was I said, just like you know, oh, I, think, I don't think we can go through that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then other cars tried i mean it really the moment i knew that we had to pull over because we pulled over and went into some um, some little diner which was kind of cute yes think of us free beignets yeah. yes they did they were really trying to treat us they liked us in there probably because i was soaking wet with rain yeah and they were confused because i think i was in a short and they were like girl yeah. what'd you wear that for and you were dry because you got dropped off at the door <laughs> no I yes Come yes Come you were dry no yeah i was a little wet the moment i knew that we needed to pull over was when i said do you want to drive and, and you within a millisecond said no <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this is <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Rachel's as scared as I am. We got to go to the diner. Yeah, yeah we got to go. And yeah. then we waited it out a little bit. And it was fine after that. Honestly, we timed it perfectly to where it was that thing where you would sometimes when you pull over in a storm, you're like, either we're going to pull over and it's only going to get worse and worse. And then we're going to yes. decide to continue going while it's worse. Yes. Or we're going to pull over and somehow by the miracle of God, it's going to pass. Mm -hmm. And it passed like as we were like, I think we were like licking our finger. <laughs> like we were. Just a little mm, powder What sugar. a breakfast. Yeah, and then yeah, it yeah. literally. <laughs> it gone. literally was gone. Yeah, yeah. The skies opened up. Yeah. Ready for us to go. That was a yeah. mostly good trip. Yeah. I mean, I was. <laughs> oh, okay. I was on my meteorology grind, though, because, you know, I kind of I kind of kind of be in there. You, you weren't know? being very helpful. But but I'm pretty good. Yeah. I kind of got a little knack in there. Yeah. You, well, the meteorology. Yeah. Yeah. You, I kind of keep up with the weather. You definitely did pull up a map. Yeah. But the you got to pull up the Doppler. That's all I'm saying. You pulled up the Doppler, but what you were telling me was very unhelpful. Okay. You that's going, interesting. You were going, you were going, yeah, it's purple over here. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> it it was how is that not helpful? <laughs> it's darker over here and it's lighter over there. That's meteorology school 101, baby. That's, that's weather. First that's class. weather man. Yeah. Weather channel. Weather weather masterist. By the okay? way. Yeah. I was thinking of that because I was thinking about I was thinking about our episode and thinking about how excited I was to see you. Yeah. Because you kind of avoid me like the plague. You don't really. You only see me every. <laughs> this. 
You see what me two or this? three times a year. That's crazy. Yeah. No, no. But I was thinking of keep it mushing. Keep <laughs> <laughs> mushing was Damn. keep it mushing was when wow. we were you and I were filming a TV show together in Portland, yes. Oregon, United States of America. Yes. That did not say it with me. Go to series. Go. Yeah, no, it did not go. <laughs> and uh, we we lived there for like what six weeks or something. Yes. And we got pretty we got pretty drunk one night. We did. We and, were out. And we were out, and we were with uh, Krista Rodriguez. Krista and Allie. Allie Maki, mm -hmm. and who has a baby now. I know. Shout out Allie, baby I saw time. Little baby, the little hands. Little tiny so baby. Tiny. Hold it like this if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> like you, what? If you hold it like this, <laughs> like put it in there. It would just yeah. sit there. I could. Hello. <laughs> That's the baby in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you tried to say keep it pushing, and you said keep it motion. Uh -huh. And it actually has. I think of it every time I think of you. Keep it motion. Keep it motion. Yeah, keep it motion. Keep it motion. Yeah, mush like the Iditarod. Exactly. Why not? It's pretty good. Think about it. Use it. Next question. Uh huh. Sure. <clears throat> What's going on with you? Well, <laughs> me, I don't know. Me, I don't know. Come on. I'm just out here. I'm out here driving around, getting around, going around. That's what, okay. <laughs> I said. <laughs> I said, what's going on with you? You said, well, I'm driving. <laughs> well, okay. You know what? I mean, ultimately, the thing that comes to my... I, 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 got, I, I got sick yesterday. What? I had some kind of... Uh, I got food poisoning. No. Yes. Literally, I it? was out. I think it was... I got carne asada fries. And I'll I think the it. carne asada... Um, got my ass that'll do it okay i'm hearing some laughter yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay why are we why are you we laughing love at carne my asada pain? fries they don't know that but that, yeah. that is something you love i feel and what's not to love about a carne asada fry yeah and i shouldn't be scared of that no well why should i be scared of a carne asada did you get fry? it from a food truck no i got it from an establishment a restaurant yeah Brick where you order. walk in Branding and you say, I'd like to order this. Branding on the front? They got branding on the front. Branding on the back. Branding on the side. Branding on the top. <laughs> yeah. I they got branding overhead. all around. I checked uh -huh. it out. Air rights. Counter serve? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty good, though. Sometimes sometimes the street... I was thinking it was a street truck. And you know, the street tacos in LA are amazing. Yes. But sometimes you take a look at the pork and the temperature of the day and how long it's been sitting there. And you go, sure. I'm not sure about it. Sure. Yeah. And I wouldn't do a pork. Right. This was a beef. Sure. Come on. All meat is subject to temperatures. Interesting. <laughs> but <laughs> but the beef should be okay cooler. Huh. Shouldn't it? Yeah. Because <laughs> the inside sometimes. No you know worries. what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about when it's a little rare? Of course I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? You think you're going to come in here and I'm not going to know what you're talking about? Hey, a little rare. You when know what I'm talking about? When it comes to beef? About. Yeah. Now. Uh-huh. I want to tell you something that I've been a kind of I've been spiritually connected to you in that way because I came back from Europe mm -hmm. and for a week I'm telling you nine days after I got back and mm -hmm. this isn't gonna be fun for anyone to hear no that's okay I, I had weapons grade diarrhea damn and heartburn and I my just on day 10 yesterday, my poop turned back to a normal color. Oh, no. My poop was so dark that I was Googling dark poop cancer what? <laughs> yeah. It was so weird. And I'm like, oh, it's just I'm literally back in the United States where the food is. Yeah. It's running through you. Yeah. Well, the food is really bad for yeah. you here. And my body is actually used to that. So now my body's getting back used getting to back it. Getting back into the game. My body's like, yes, carcinogens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the put the microplastics in there. Put the microplastics yeah. in the yeah. nutsack. Yeah. Put them <laughs> <laughs> that's where it goes. Yeah. Put them right in the bowls. That's where it goes in yeah, the bowls. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's how they and that's how they spread. That's how they spread. You know. I'm giving I'm giving somebody's son microplastics. Exactly. Every once in a while. Yeah. Get it get get it wherever it gets. Because you know I'm not using protection. You know What's what? That? No, I am. But <laughs> oh, okay. Someone asked me to wear a condom to get a recently no they didn't yes is it 1982 and i was like what kind of whorish no. men are you fucking around with oh i see i thought that was more of a like you know i'm so you know like so safe that's what i'm saying but you to to want someone to wear a condom for a job yeah you've had to have some pretty disturbing dicks in your mouth i think it's either disturbing or extreme like christianity or something you know you, what i okay. mean okay it's christian head i, I feel like yeah because that's what, something i would hear back in the day he was at least from the girls dome. were like yeah you need to put you need to put a condom on before i put that in my mouth really yeah that was a christian thing yeah because they didn't want the in their mouth well the in the whatever you know it's kind of a barrier it's like is it even real does it even count oh it's real well well, <laughs> well, for the girls, it was it was it was, a, it was a gray area. It. Yeah. Would you wear a condom for the job? I mean, I wouldn't do it now. I said no. Keep that off. I said I'd rather not get a job than wear a condom for the job. No. I don't need a job that bad. No. They're not that hard to come by as a gay fella. No. As a gay fella, you can get a job pretty much anywhere. Hey, talk about it. Any old time. Say about it. There's someone who'll your dick any old time. Hey. You know how gay guys are. Yeah, you whip it out. Someone, someone's getting down. You don't even really have to take it out. No. They'll come over and get it out for They're you. They're getting on their knees. It's nice. I love the way gay guys are. They're putting it in their mouth, and that's beautiful. For sure. I mm -hmm. love when that happens. Yeah. But you asked me to put a condom on for it, and I say, Bye. Ugh. Get away from me. Why? Yeah. For what? Stand back. Stand back. Yeah. And stand by, proud boys. Right. 
I'm calling in the Proud Boys. You're calling in the Proud Boys. I'm calling in the Proud Boys. And what are they doing? You better give me condomless head or else I'm calling in the Proud Boys. Uh oh. And yeah. they're gonna what? Well, <laughs> <laughs> they're, Domestic they're terrorism is kind of their thing. Right, right, right. I don't right, know right. how what they're going to do in this situation. To the other person. A lot of those guys are gay. The Proud Boys? Yeah. Yeah. Matching the, uniforms, little events. For sure. Okay. They like to hang out together, yes, you know, queen. build community. Exactly. Yeah, they're yeah. hanging out together. Yeah. Do you remember like a year ago when they showed up at like a a Utah Pride event, like 20 of them matching uniforms in the back of a van together? <laughs> no. They like came out of a moving truck. They were all in there. I was like, that's no. the literal most f- I've ever, like no. that's homo no. behavior. <laughs> Absolutely. To a T. And they were wearing masks where only their mouths were showing. Hello. <laughs> Y'all are doing glory holes. Oh, wow. No, that's so true. But you're right wing. What's that? What's up? Huh? You vote for Republicans. Yes. Totally. Nice. Sorry, yes, sir. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yes, sir. I'm clocking into the Navy, the Army. The Navy and the Army. <laughs> yeah, and the Air Force all at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. knew that about you. Yeah, you know I got that big bush tattoo on my back. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I thought it was the band at first. No, it's it's Daddy and Senior. Yeah. Wait, and Junior. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Wait, yeah. actually, it's just yeah, it's just both Daddy, both actually, Senior. Yeah, 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 no yeah. worries. You know, I love I love the OGs. What is really going on with you? What is going? What's on up in your you? life? You're what doing stand up. I'm doing stand up these days. Yeah. We work in a bad industry. It's rough yeah. currently. Currently strange. You know things are weird when everyone in your industry has a catchphrase for how bad it's going. And right now, <laughs> survive until 25. It's bad. You hearing that? I've been hearing That's that. Cra- Someone said that to me. Though. I said, don't say that to me. That's cr- I, I was like, who? this is um the meanest thing that anyone's ever said to me. Yeah. Survive until 25? Yeah. Who has the time? I'm barely surviving. The patience. Period, let alone until 25. No. It doesn't make sense to me. No, I'm, um, honestly, every now and then I do think about, what if I just move home for a little bit? Not. Texas should be so lucky. You know, just like a little cute stint. You Go know? back to, well, I know that you're from the Dallas area, but yes. I really, in this moment, wanted to call back. I wanted to remember the specific, you're from Denton. Yes. That's the truth. Yeah, that's Denton, it. Denton, Texas. You got to come sometime. Uh, hey, I would love to be down there. It's pretty nice. I got to meet some of your friends after our Dallas That's show. That's true. I love your friends. They're really sweet. They're lovely. Yeah. You have some really sweet friends. Well, thank you so much. They came to our Dallas show, and then we all hung out for a second afterwards. Yes. And then I think they came to LA, and I missed them. They did. They were in LA, but we were running around. Yeah. We were running around. I was taking them all across town. My, uh, well, my boyfriend is, is fellow. Is, he's he was driving us. Hold on. Being a what's what? Yes. What did you say? What did you say? You're who now? Yeah, I got a yeah. yeah. You got a boyfriend? Well, you know. Oh wow! Well, I'm really yeah. out of the loop. Well, yeah, I'm kind of yeah, I'm kind of seeing him. Okay. Well, I mean, I am seeing him. I don't know why I'm saying kind of. Yeah. <laughs> what's his deal? What's his deal? He's you know he's out there doing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do I know him? Uh, no, he's not. He's not in comedy. Good. Yeah. No. Good job. Yeah, no. He's Good. A, he's a professor. Professor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yo, you talked to me about this guy. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah still seeing him. He's a professor. Well, you told yeah. me. I don't think it was boyfriend when we talked. No. 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 That was a while ago. Y'all close? Now, Y'all yeah. doing a closed down situation? Yeah. We're locking it. We're monogamy. Lock- oh yeah. We're we're kind of doing that. You're doing monogamy. That's <laughs> that's what's happening currently. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 yeah that can yeah. be so scary. It it can be it can be but it's feeling good. So you're liking the monogamy. I'm liking the monogamy <laughs> currently. <laughs> Although I have talked, I'm like oh, I don't know if this should say, but I have talked. We have talked about how I was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I don't know how it came up. We're talking about sister wives. Yeah. Um and huh. <laughs> just 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 the idea. Well, it kind of matters how it came up. Well, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. All right. But it came. <laughs> He's up. at dinner and he's like, "Have you ever heard of this <laughs> this concept?" <laughs> He's like, what if there were a couple more of you? And I'm yeah. like, say more. Um, no, he he was. Just, we were just talking about it, and I was like, oh no, I don't know that I could be, you know, one of many, obviously, of the girls. But I was like, I don't know, it might be nice to have a husband and a wife. And then I was like, might be nice to have a boyfriend and a girlfriend. And then he was like, yes. Yeah, so are you saying that you would want you would want to have another? And I was like, well, maybe you know, for a little bit or something. You know, I just think it would be nice to have a girlfriend too. Yeah, because you're a little lesbian. <laughs> the, 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 people are calling it bisexual but yeah, yeah. we can say that I have my own I have my own <laughs> phrase for it <laughs> you're a little lesbian you're, yeah, you're yeah, a little yeah, lesbian yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. bisexual right what does that mean what do you mean bisexuality what does bisexuality mean you really are just 50-50 with it uh, for me yeah personally yeah I feel that yeah your percentage is straight 50-50 I well you know what I think the men are it. not m- m- like I don't know how to like it's not it's not like I'm not going like I don't want anyone to you know what I'm trying to say in, what? on the on the men's side because the because unless you're watching you can't see it. <laughs> Rachel just said I don't want anyone and then she pulled back as if to strike or be stricken. I just 
I don't want any of those tough boys. I don't want anyone who's winding back. You know, I don't want anyone. <laughs> to, I don't want anyone too big. You know, I don't want anyone like this. You know, yeah. sort of like, hey. you don't want a man who's yeah. gonna pull back on you. No, I don't want that. I, don't I want also that hate domestic <laughs> violence. Yeah, you'll find a. F- <laughs> you'll find an ally in me on that every single time. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I don't just. I just. I can't. I can't be having too much of that. I like someone who's who's a little like. How you you know what's up with the you know like you know like I kind of like that. It's something that feels a little softer. You like a soft boy? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Is your guy bisexual? No. Right. Yeah. Is does he? Um, is he? What's that? Is he, <laughs> is he violent? He's not winding the back. No. Good. No, 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 no. Good. I hate when he's that happens. Not, yeah, he's not hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's going to love this. Um, yeah. No, yeah. we'll check in off camera for sure. <laughs> when the mics and the cameras and the lights go off, you and I will be having a conversation in the parking lot. I'll be like, I'll be like, hey, fun episode. Um, there was that one part. When you were sort of, no, 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 no. no. He's really, he's really sweet. Really good. Of course. Good. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. I'm we like, went on a trip this summer. We went to Mexico. That was nice. I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. I do remember that yeah. about you. I've been out and about. Where'd you go to Mexico? Uh, it's the Yucatan Peninsula. Yes, of course. Yeah, Where else you know, is there? Oh. The the YP. Uh, so you know, hitting Cancun. Yeah. Hitting a little, a uh, town called Merida. You speak Spanish? No. No. Not much. Texas people. Sometimes. I know enough. Yeah, you, know you can what get I mean? by. Yes. Yeah. If I was real, if I was stuck, like say if I was kidnapped. Yeah. I think I could hear some keywords and yeah. be okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You would know when they say we're gonna kill her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah or they were like, you know, like we're going to the left or the right or whatever. And we we got to, <laughs> we we're, we're in we're in the house. Yeah, if they say if they say I want a coffee with milk, I'm gonna be really I'm gonna be really locked in, tuned in. Yeah. What they say. If they say hello, my name is how are you? I'm gonna be exactly. right I'm gonna there know, with them. I was like, oh okay, write that down yeah. mentally. If they say Merry Christmas, I know exactly yeah, what they're least, talking about. Yeah, or cumpleaños. By the way, no birthday. worries. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's sweet. Well, mm-hmm. what do you, what do you? Okay, so you're doing stand up. Yeah. Did you put out the audio album? I haven't yet. That's what I thought. It's coming. I think September though, so it should be pretty soon. End of September. September. Yeah. Do you this episode will be out by then. Remember? Oh. So people can go. So listen people can go get the album. To your audio wow, album. Wow, that would be exciting. Who's putting it out? Um, a special thing records. A special thing records, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it's you'll post it about it all over your social media. Yeah, of course. What it's a half hour stand up comedy. It's it's actually about forty five minutes. No one's doing it like that. It's a forty five <laughs> minutes of stand up comedy. Yeah, no one's doing not an hour. You Everybody know? said the options are half an hour, an hour. You said <laughs> think again. Yeah, I said I'm not a girl, not yet a woman. You know, yeah, that kind I'm of thing. Not a girl. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Don't get me started. Hey. What's it about? Um, it's kind of hitting. It's pretty silly up top, pretty pretty goofy, silly. A lot of little little fun little jokes, and then it kind of lands in a bit like eh, some like uh, stuff around sex and identity uh, from growing up. So, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Is it is it any of the? Because I saw your your very funny solo show. Yeah, uh, Titty Meat. Yes, was the name of it. Mm-hmm. Is it any stuff from that, or is it? It's like a little bit of stuff from that, but excuse me, not a ton. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're a very funny comedian. Oh my god, I'm a huge fan of yours. Oh my god, that's so sweet. I literally think the world of you. You know this. I do, but thank you. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice to hear it, though, huh? Yeah. It's no, nice. I do. I think I think you're a genius, and in fact, I know you are. I've seen you be one uh, many times. But you started out in. We well, grew up in Texas. Mm-hmm. Grew up in Denton, Texas. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your service. Thank you so much. And then you went to NYU. Yeah. As all of our great creators do. And <laughs> we all have to tap in for all a of our bit. great artists. It's true. Clock in at NYU yeah. for a little bit. No, it's nice to see the graduating class of multiple years being so successful. Successful out and abroad. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see the alumni. Yeah, it's good. Wearing that purple. Yeah, absolutely. With pride. You're sort of being like, okay, 14, 13, 10, 11, you know. Whatever. Yeah, a person yeah. I had a weird interaction with on the train yeah. after class. But and, yeah. And I'm like, look at you thriving. Person I slept with and regretted it. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Sure. And we went somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And we went somewhere for a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and you, what did you study at MIU? Musical theater. Musical theater, in fact. Well, technically theater, theater, but I I was in school for musical theater my first two years. What's your favorite musical? What is my favorite musical? Company. What's your favorite song from Company? Um, Being Alive. What does that sound like? Um, <coughs> uh, you know, like I'm I'm not gonna hit it right, Come on. but uh, you know, it's like being alive. Yeah, you know, like, somebody. No, I can't do it. Ah! <laughs> but I can sing. You so absolutely can. I can certainly sing. Well, one of my 
favorite bits of yours, and it's an older one, and it's uh, you've had so 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 many funny jokes since then. Sometimes when people come up compliment an old bit of mine, I get annoyed because I'm like, what did you just like clock out after I had a hit? You know what I mean? What do you know? One good joke of mine. That's the only thing you have to compliment. You have had many funny jokes since then, but you had a very memorable song that you did. Um, well, I think the first time I saw it, I saw a video of you doing it at Union Hall, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but it was the song about like. Um, well, you're talking about violence against women and you were like, you're like, <laughs> yes. you can't trust your boyfriend. You can't trust your boyfriend. Yes. And it's about like women having to like carry their keys in their hand and yes. the whole, how did you, was that just from reading the news that you came up with that? I, it came up out of a bit with an ex-boyfriend that uh, I would make a joke about <laughs> saying like, don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of women make that joke just to test the waters I found. <laughs> and I was just sort of like, like, you could kill me if you wanted to. And he's like, I'm not going to kill you. And I was like, but you could. Yeah. So, yeah. and he was like, but I won't do it. And I was like, but you might. And I would do it a lot. And then I think he actually got frustrated by it. Yeah, it's a pretty unsavory vibe. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> but it is just like, you could, though. I, d I made the same joke with um, this current uh person i'm seeing but like where i'm like oh you could kill me but i kind of feel like anybody could kill you know i would i wouldn't just be willy-nilly with women either i'm like you could kill me too you yeah know? like you know i might fight back but like i don't know i don't know what you're doing you, you know? could totally get killed at any moment yeah, yeah i don't know what you're doing from nine to five i do think about that that i could get killed at any time yeah do, is that what anyone else thinks about i will say i'm not thinking about it okay sometimes yeah. i do just be walking down the street and maybe this is i don't know what this is bringing to light but sometimes i do just be like yeah someone could shoot me right now in the head i could fall down and i would die and this would be it <laughs> people don't really like my perspective on death mm. people get kind of upset when i talk about my perspective on death because mm -hmm. my perspective on death is like i'm having a good time being alive i'm mm -hmm. liking it i would like to do it for longer yeah no worries if not like i like anytime i think about death i go uh -huh. it would solve a lot of problems you know what i mean interesting like i'm not i'm not i'm uh, trust me i have been in right. the past i yes. was when i was younger i was very depressed yes. i am not itching to die uh -huh. i like being alive i have a lot of plans for my future mm -hmm. i like my life i've got a really good one it's been mm -hmm. a nice time especially recently things are going well yeah if someone killed me yeah if the plane went down if the car crash was at the wrong exact wrong angle no guess what all those phone calls i've been avoiding all those emails <laughs> i haven't responded to they pretty much go right away, don't they? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you never, you never I, think like that. I do, I do, honestly, though. Yeah, yeah. It's if, not. It's like, but I also at the same time, I'm like, but I gotta do something. I gotta keep living. Yeah. You know. I, truly, this this perspective is what brought me out of depression. Yeah. Where I'm just well, two things brought me out of depression. Number one, I lie to myself constantly. Mm -hmm. I, anything negative, I tell, I gaslight myself. I say that's not true. <laughs> that's a classic. I'm telling you, listeners. I've said it before. Y'all, if you're depressed, lie to yourself. All your problems are fake. Nothing is real. Yeah. Lie to yourself. Put yourself in debt. Do whatever you need to do to be happy. It'll all come out in the wash. That's number one. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you have a question? Put yourself in debt? Yeah. <laughs> it, they're just numbers on a computer screen. Well, I mean. Run it up. Okay. Run it up. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Run it up, y'all. <laughs> All Have right. some fun. That's okay. I agree with the rest of it. For I example, absolutely do. If your bank account, if you've got seventeen dollars in your bank account, right? right? And you're like, uh oh, rent's due next week. Mm -hmm. I don't have any money for rent. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. And your friend calls you and says, Hey, I want to go to dinner tonight at this really fancy seafood restaurant. Um, you should come. It's probably like gonna be like three, four hundred dollars a person. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Your instinct that like the devil, when the devil works in your brain, <laughs> the devil's gonna say, "Come on, preacher, you can't go to that. Uh huh. You've only got seventeen dollars in your bank account. You don't know how you're gonna make rent. Right. That's what the devil says. Testify. But when you enter God hey. and you're living in godliness mm -hmm. and you're existing in the infinite love of God, mm -hmm. you say. I'll be there. Hey. And you overdraft that bank account. Come on. And then you stiff your landlord. Hey. And then <laughs> and then hey. you just come on. You just <laughs> live, man. All right. And then if you get evicted, guess what? First of all, squatters rights. The system's designed to protect you a little bit. Stay as long as you need. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. They shut off the lights. You get a candle. You just <laughs> focus up on how to make things work. And then maybe eventually you have to go back and get a job or you start stealing or someone you love <laughs> that's close to you dies and there, there's an inheritance of some sort. Everything will work out. Uh -huh. So that's number one of my mental health. <laughs> and then, right. And then number two and of my mental two. health yes. is that I go, Hey, I love being alive, even though it is mostly a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Like things are going really bad. The news is not good. You read the news and you go, that's, 
pretty much all bad, hey? Yeah. You, so that's bad. We hate that. And then also everything is so much. There's always a million tasks. Then my tooth hurts. And then your tooth hurts. And you're like, God, I have to go, I have to, go to the dentist. Yeah. And now I have to do that to make my tooth not hurt just so I can continue living. Horrible, right? But then you go, someday this is all going <laughs> to... You go, if I were to die, these things would all be uh, erased. And that's okay. <laughs> and it makes me really happy. I, 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 I feel honestly, if it works for you, then it works for you. I think you should do it too, though. It, okay. You should adopt this. You should adopt this mindset. And you so know, should all the listeners. I, <laughs> it's not enough for it to work for me. I, I do. Okay. I do feel now. Look, I was listening to a documentary. I was watching a documentary just last night about James Baldwin. Um, Love. and I do feel honestly, this is a similar mindset that he presented in the documentary. Although he was obviously very much specifically talking about black folks. You're but, like, he was um, much more articulate than uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, but it was, it was like, you know, because you know that you could potentially die at any moment, yes. just especially, you know, just like whatever you could just die at any time um that it gives you a relative bit of freedom that yeah. it's like oh this could happen and you could go so why not be a little more free with because yeah we live in an absolutely terrifying country where like yeah you could just you could just be doing anything you just be going to the store and it's like oh there's a shooter and now now we're all dead <laughs> now we're all dead <laughs> now we're all dead at the target like that's crazy <laughs> you know now we're <laughs> dead exclamation point at the target now come on that's come good on. that's good take it to broadway hey. um but you know what i mean so i'm just like yeah you you could be dead might, why, might as well just like try stuff do things i really do think if i were to earnestly sit down obviously i've been kidding around the last couple minutes if i were to earnestly sit no. down and, uh, no no <laughs> If I were to earnestly sit down and talk about the fact that, like, you can't not live because you fear death. Yeah. But I also, what I, what I tried to do for a long time was just not fear death. Mm -hmm. I tried to go, okay, the problem that is inhibiting me is that I fear death. That is the reality. So I'm going to try not to fear death. And that didn't work. Mm -hmm. I could not get rid of my fear of death. It's a normal human condition to be like, oh, no. Uh-oh. I was born with uh, autonomy and, like, I'm sentient. Whoops. Yeah. And so now I know I'm conscious of my own mortality. That's mm -hmm. the curse of being human. Can't get rid of that. The, someone else did that to me. The universe, God, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Someone gave that to me. It's a curse. Okay. So then you go, if I can't not be afraid of death, all I can do is kind of embrace that it's going to come. Yeah. And actually, if you read like, if you read genuine books about like fear of death and how to overcome it and things, this is what they tell you. Yeah. Is they go, just make peace with it. Yes. Because I've got friends who go, I don't go to the movies. I'm afraid I'll get shot. And I go, I go to the movies knowing I might get shot. Yeah. Yeah. And I go, if I die at the movies, I die at the movies. Right. I die doing something that I really like. Yeah. I'm just going to the movies. And it's like, yeah, if you, it, for sure, if you said, hey, there's going to be a gunman at this movie, if you, if you go tonight, <laughs> I would skip that <laughs> well, show. Well, we're not going to go. You know? Yeah. 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 But yeah, that's yeah. not how it works. No, exactly. I feel this way about getting ready to go on a trip like on flights because i can get a little scared Same, on the plane yeah. and so i truly like a what as we're taking off i'll just in my head be like i've lived an incredible life yeah i love everything that i've ever done i love i list all the people in my head that i love i think of everything <laughs> that i've done that i like yeah. about my life and i was like and if i were to die right now sure there are things that i could have done more but i think i lived a good life but also that's the the really the only difference between because plane anxiety used to be a huge thing for me, yeah. which the amount I fly just was not sustainable. Yeah. And the the big thing that I realized was I was like, oh, when you think about dying, you're fixating on all the things you haven't done. Mm -hmm. And that's what's causing this like psycho turbulent, like crazy reaction in yeah. your body that's making you so scared and fearful. All it is is a perspective shift to be like, think about all the things you have done. Yes. And then all of a sudden it doesn't feel so bad. Yeah. It's like you lived a great life. You got very lucky. You did a lot of things in that yes. in that time. It's true. Hell yeah. Yeah. And I'd like to do more. Right. I got and my eye would, on a couple things I'd like to do. <laughs> would be incredible yeah. if this plane didn't crash. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. next summer I'd like to be on a jet ski somewhere. I've got that in my mind. I'm yes. cooking that up. Yes. I'm planning next summer. Where am I going to be on a jet ski for a week or two? Oh. I'm thinking about that. Yes. So I've got things to look forward to. So it's like you want to you wanna land. Yeah. Yeah. But if the plane, if the plane starts to nosedive, right i'm not gonna be like fuck jet skiing's off for next summer you're saying i'm gonna be like damn good thing i had a nice lunch before we got up here exactly exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly you know what i mean good thing you sat down yeah had a nice lunch hey. you didn't run you didn't run through you know no. pick up pick up a water burger i'm thinking about dallas airport yeah you know dallas love field yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah why not i love a water burger i know you do yeah, that's pretty nice yeah. any um this isn't a plug for them but no, you know but thank you patrick mahomes for bringing it to kansas city oh really he brought water burger to kansas wow. city 
There was none, and then he signed to the Chiefs, and he said, let me tell you something about your city. Dang. It's going to have a Whataburger if I'm there. Y'all going to have a Whataburger. And we do. Oh, my God. Not bad. That's nice. You refuse to visit me. That's not true. <laughs> you I, won't visit me. You know what's me. crazy? I've never been invited, I don't think. Uh, oh, don't you I don't think so think so look into your camera and tell them i don't think i've true. ever been invited you tell my fans i don't think i've lying. ever been invited you're invited i've never been invited oh this is sick no you're a twisted individual I, how do i get how do i get there what i gotta walk I gotta, <laughs> you're not allowed to fly to kansas city <laughs> that's the, you can't fly yeah it's really crazy i'm like you can come visit but you have to walk <laughs> damn they won't let you on a plane yeah i gotta gump it gump yeah forest. Oh, not forest <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is so <laughs> sick to try and pass that off as a as a turn of phrase yeah people say that i gotta gump it yeah you gotta gump it you gump it sometimes you gotta gump it <laughs> yeah Me, hey if, if i tell you i'm gumping it just know i'm running across the country <laughs> exactly or having a kid with someone who has aids uh -huh. that was another big thing he did that was another big thing he did that movie's so fucking long yeah and it really feels like it shouldn't have been made well they had to do so much history you know they're supposed to do a second one. What? You've heard about the second no. one? The sequel? What were they going to do? It was going to include 9-11. The squeakquel? No. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, not You can look it up. You can look it up, yes. Not Gump 9-11. It was going to be about how I think he stopped it or tried to. It's really crazy. Not Gump goes to the North Tower. <laughs> not that. Yes. And then it got stopped. So. Imagine him trying to process 9-11. I, we don't. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, the story we never needed. You yeah. Know? You hear about stuff like that and you're like, maybe Hollywood should fail a little, you know? A little. Yeah. It's not bad. We don't need it to fail so much, but. Gump 2. Yeah. Gump goes to 9-11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nuts. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who would you want to play you in a movie? Ooh. 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 Who? Who would I want to play me in a movie? Yeah. Maybe. This is. this. I'm just tossing somebody out. This mm -hmm. might not even be correct. Mm -hmm. Carrie Washington. Carrie Washington would be a lot of fun. She's considerably older than you. Well, <laughs> right. Which is no worries. She's a beautiful <laughs> and an incredible actor. No, you're absolutely right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's true. I didn't think about it like that. Yeah. I was thinking about it like so it would be later yeah. in my life. But then she's only going to get older. So it actually She'll doesn't. She'll continue <laughs> to age at the same rate that you <laughs> age. So when you think yeah. about it, it actually doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Huh. I'm trying to think. Dewanda Wise, do you know her? I don't think so. She's really talented. Where was she from? She, um, well, she's done a couple things. I'm thinking of Jurassic. I met her. She was she was in Jurassic. Mm -hmm. She played a, a f I believe, a fighter pilot. But she's a really good actor. So yeah. she would she would do you really well. Mm, she could okay. do all the big dramatic Rachel moments. Oh. Carrie Washington, I like. No, no, no. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about Let it. Let me run it through my... And it's actually only older black actresses that keep coming to mind. Yeah. Such as Viola Davis. God. <laughs> which is incredible. But again, it's kind of the same issue. I just hope you don't pick her because I was going to pick her for me. Wow. That would actually be a lot of fun. Wow. Do a I'm biopic about me and then have Viola <laughs> play it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's good. Maybe I have Emma Stone. That would be huge. Margot Robbie. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Her doing zip zap zap in a basement Wait. near NYU. <laughs> Wait, let Margot do blackface one time. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've actually I'm glad you said that because I've been saying that. Yeah. So it's nice to have a coalition kind of yeah. building around that. No, I think Margot would nail your energy. She could get your energy. Exactly. Yeah. She's got it. Carrie Washington was probably the best choice. Why? <laughs> Why? The best choice so far. Aww. What's up, you guys? Thank you so much, ZocDoc, for being a sponsor of this episode. We absolutely love you. Look, some things in life are okay to be a total crapshoot, like trying a new type of milk in your coffee or a cheap Instagram ad impulse buy or rolling the dice on a new workout class or mixing it up with a new takeout spot, okay? All those things can be a crapshoot, but finding the right doctor shouldn't be a total crapshoot. And with ZocDoc, it's not because you've got more options than you've ever had before. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare high quality in-network doctors, choose the right one for your needs, and click to instantly book an appointment. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare high quality in-network doctors, choose the right one for your needs, and click to instantly book an appointment. We're talking about in-network appointments with more than 100,000 healthcare providers across every specialty, from mental health to dental health, eye care to skin care, and much, much more. Plus, ZocDoc appointments happen fast, typically within just 24 to 72 hours of booking. You can even score same-day appointments. 
So stop putting off those doctor's appointments and go to ZocDoc.com slash so true to find and book highly rated doctors today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash so true. ZocDoc.com slash so true. What do you think about for me? Viola excluded. Viola excluded. Yeah, I just realized I maybe don't want you to answer. It might get hurtful quick. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean when you let someone do that game and then yeah, you go, Yeah, no, it's tough. It's tough. I didn't think I was giving C. Buscemi, but all of a sudden. <laughs> it's kind of. No, it's like people used to say in high school that I looked like Michelle Obama, which I didn't take to <laughs> well, very she, well. <laughs> she's beautiful, but I don't think you guys look alike. We don't. And it also just felt like. Black person? Yeah. Black person in politic? You? I think if we're you relying speak pretty on the, good. <laughs> yeah. If we're yeah. relying on the awareness about black women from the teenagers at a high school in Texas. Yeah. I can I can see where it's all headed. Right. Where Bush won. Or who was it going against him? Was it still Bush again? Romney. No, it was Romney. That's it. Um, yeah, Romney won at our high oh, school when we were voting. Oh, I bet he did. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I was like, all right, good, good, good. I you know what? I don't know his name, but there's an actor who uh was on Mindhunter mm-hmm. and also had a small role in uh, season one of Barry that is a big he's a really um, he's like a big tall like heavy set like a fat guy mm-hmm. and he's really funny and handsome and I'm like I would like it to maybe be him mm-hmm. I need to think I need to know his name but he what are you mm, I don't know he played he played Ed Kemper in Mindhunter I think yeah uh, Cameron okay. Britton let's have a look he's talented He's talented and he's a handsome guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Handsome guy. Talented Such actor. Such a cutie. Think he could do funny. <gasps> yeah. I like Cameron Britton. He's hot. Yeah. I'm happy to know his name. Yeah. That's yeah. your guy. Handsome guy. That's the one. Want him bad. Yeah. Need him to be me. Okay. Would be cool. With you. In what, you. What do you in, in, oh, whoa. Hold on. I don't know. Hold on. Well, he's got to get in the character. No worries. Hit we me up, dog. We don't know who he is. Hey, brother. <laughs> If you want to be inside of me, brother. Jesus Christ. Nah, I'm not really that's doing all you? that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, brother. What's up with that? That's 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 my impression of a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Hey. That's good. Come on. <laughs> Please, sir. I'm just a whole. Damn. No. I wish you did characters. Characters? Yeah. Used to. Come on. Back in the day? That's good. You didn't know me when I was a character guy. I know. I don't think you knew. Did you know me when I was doing characters? No. Yeah. Those, we both met each other at normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We yeah. both escaped our yeah, mental sort of illness left that behind, before yeah. our friendship. I think that's why we're so rock solid. Right, right, right. Me we went you. through something and now we're out of it. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shared trauma, but not didn't experience it at the same no, time. No, 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 no. But yeah. it, it informs us yeah. moving forward. I'm glad we never did a UCB showcase together. That, yeah. That's what I will say. No, it would have been. I don't want to see you pull a rubber chicken out of a bag. <laughs> I like you. I like you just the way you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you have a lot of props? No. No? Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why I didn't have a lot of props? Uh-huh. There was a tragic story in Chicago. This guy. Oh, no. Oh, this guy in Chicago worked for like a full year uh-huh. on his SNL audition, like busted his ass, did like a million guest spots. I'll tell you who later. <laughs> did like a million guest spots and like really worked on it. And he was, he was a pretty funny dude, honestly. Like he had, mm-hmm. some, he had some stuff that made me laugh. Um, and I'm famously critical. Um, it was pretty funny. And he worked really hard. And then he did, he got in Chicago. We do like a huge round where like a lot of people get a slot. Like I think mm-hmm. it's like it was like three four hundred people get the first oh, round. Wow. And, and the theater owner Sharna and the other people selecting, but mostly Sharna, they see all those people in mm-hmm. a big first round. And then the second round is maybe like what was it when we did it like thirty forty. Yeah, 40. Okay. And then the third round, like when SNL comes to town and they always come mm-hmm. watch the Chicago showcase, if they're still even doing it. Yeah. It's 10. Yeah. And okay. um, so, so it was anyways, like one showcase for SNL. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, for Chicago. Because they, right. and then they go see Second City. Right. Uh, which, but they, <laughs> this guy worked really hard and he did his audition in the first round thinking, like, I'm definitely going to get the second round. Mm-hmm. Like, this is my year. And then, like, the. T- <laughs> No. the day he did a bunch of props uh-huh. he did like a big bag and like a wig and like a, you know and like really like would like ran around the back of the flat on the stage to like change into a new shirt and then came out and was like Heidi ho you know like you know how it is i do and um he really went heavy on props yeah. and like immersed himself in each character yeah and then the next day uh-huh. the theater sent out a community-wide email to like <gasps> students performers like, like ticket holders like anyone on the uh, on the email list the theater sent out an email that was like hey y'all we've officially lost the plot on the props 
Like, like no. if you're running, and then like specifically referenced his set and was like, <gasps> if you're running backstage to put on an old lady wig, you're wasting time, specifically our time. No. And it was like really like everyone knew who it was about. Of course. And I, so when I was, pre- that was the year that I was preparing for mine for the next year. And I was like, I will do zero props. Yeah. And I did zero props. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Damn. There's a real, there's that a real craft so to building your like five of a character of showcase. Of course. And I have I had a really specific theory on mine, and my theory was always you should never have to announce the character you're doing. Mm-hmm. You should always come out with your loudest, biggest character. Mm-hmm. You should close with your killer. That's mm-hmm. standard, and you shouldn't need props. Yeah, that was my. Yeah. What do I know? I, you know. I no. I I feel like I generally agree with that. The only I always did as minimal as possible. Yeah. Like very very few few things. Like uh, yeah, you can you can have props, but they should be so additive and so simple. Yes, and they only need to like. It could ultimately be I do them without them too. Exactly you know what correct. I'm saying? Like yeah. it's like if if it still will land without all of the stuff. Like I also never really tried to do a lot of wigs, mostly because I can't really braid my hair down very well. So yeah. I was like, it's gonna be out. Yeah. Um. But wait, what was I gonna say? Props and stuff on stage on stage back when we were doing characters oh i was oh just the thing about like oh yeah not explaining the characters i feel like the only time when i would explain characters is like i'm setting up a specifically a bit yeah like that that was a big problem i saw in chicago though is that like people i taught a character class for a second and a big problem i saw was that people like the setup for the character would be funnier than the character itself i see they would be like this is john goodman at the samsung store you know, and then everyone would, that would get a laugh. Uh-huh. And then in, it would just be John Goodman being like, my phone's broken. You know, it would be, it would be like, it would not, it right, would not, ha- right, the right, joke right, right, was right, not right, worth right, the right, setup. Right. And it would right. be like, yeah, you, you just, you liked saying the setup out loud. Yes. The joke, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. I see. Yeah. But. That makes sense. Yeah. Hey. I gave it up. That makes a lot. And, and so did I. I gave up characters as did you. Mm-hmm. And I went back to being number one, being this guy. <laughs> I went back to being this guy right here. You gotta, sometimes you just gotta get back in you it really was funny in my comedy career that i i for sure thought my route to success was going to be like playing characters and doing all this like weird yeah. like extremely high concept stuff and then over and over again every time i tried the like overwhelming feedback was like we're not interested like right. we would like you to just be like, we want to hear about you actually be regular and i didn't want to the reason yeah. i wanted to do characters so bad is i didn't want to be myself on stage right which is hard yeah i was it's like i don't want to be do. me i don't like me yeah when i was younger you have to let yourself really be seen. Yeah. Just like, oh, you doing know. Doing this all the time. Yeah. Sitting here, talking into there, and then also doing it on stage is like, eventually, even the most sociopathic, like, crazy good at hiding who they are person, the truth about you will come out. Of course. And I don't think I'm a sociopath. I just think I didn't like myself because I was 20. You know no, what I mean? No, yeah. But you have to get really comfortable being like, you better like who you are because it's going to come out and people are going to see you. Yes. And it's easier to hide in characters and also like really well crafted, like, oh, I know every little thing, you know, versus like sometimes being on stage is just like, you're coming up with stuff. You're like letting stuff out. You're like saying things that you didn't plan and like, there's like obviously a lot of like fear in that, but then there's also a lot of like, oh, there's great things that come out of that. Kind of yeah, there's also the, the the most creative fulfillment and joy I've gotten out of my comedy were for sure after I started just being myself. Yeah. And talking about like what I actually want to talk about and writing jokes from my own actual perspective instead of, I mean, there was even a period there where I was first starting stand up where I tried mm-hmm. to do stand up as characters. Uh huh. Because I was like, I'm interested in this art form, but I still don't want to be myself on stage. Yeah. And that was like probably the bleakest. <laughs> that was, that was where it yeah. got really like, buddy, just yeah. come on. Everyone's kind of saying, what are you doing? Everyone's like, come on, man. Hop on in. Come on, faggot. No. They're saying that. Don't. They're saying you silly, silly. F- oh. Tricks are for kids. Are they saying it's sweet or are they saying it mean? Sweet. Okay, then fine. Wouldn't that be fun if that was the commercial <laughs> with the rabbit? Instead of saying silly rabbit, they said silly. F- that would be fucking wild. And the rabbit wild. was like, I want some tricks, you know? <laughs> huh? Wouldn't that be kind of fun? It might Let's be kind of nice. This out. Yeah. Let's put this out as a clip. Pitch it. So it's, they, he'd say, he'd say, can I have some? And they'd say, <laughs> or so, sorry, he'd say, he'd say, can I have some? <laughs> Yeah. Because he wants their cereal. Yeah. And then they'd say, silly f- <laughs> Tricks are for kids. I like it. That's fun. I like that. Yeah. I'll tune in. Yeah, I'd watch him. i watch a show. And then and then they'd say that, and then it cuts back to his reaction. He goes, oh. You know? <laughs> you know how gay guys whimper. 
I do hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> I do be hearing about that. Anyway. <laughs> no, um, but with the kids, anyways, it's cool. I'm like, why is he hanging out with, with, with the what, rabbit? What's the what's the context? Of why was this? the rabbit with the kids? Why are they hanging out? They I'm, just the saying, I'm not saying whether he's gay or not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, why are queer people around kids? No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, Don't get. Drag Queen Story uh, Hour. Uh, okay. <laughs> Listen, don't yeah. make me pull out my bush tattoo. Yeah. No, I uh no, I'm just like, why why but that is always off in the theme. It's just like like Lucky Charms is just a little old man and he's hanging out with all these kids. Well he wants cereal. He wants the cereal? He loves no, it. No, he's saying they're after it. What? He's like he's trying to keep the kids. He's like they're always after my lucky charms. Me I lucky won't charms. do the accent, but they're always after my oh, lucky charms. Oh, you can do charms. that accent. I can do it. Yeah. I don't know that I can. They're always after me lucky charms. I don't even think I have Irish in me. I try it. They're always after me lucky charms. There was something. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely different. <laughs> Yeah. I'm really bad at them. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes no. my Irish kind of dips into Jamaican. <laughs> Which is totally cool <laughs> for you. I, I have to walk a pretty fine line, huh? Why? Well, be not, strong. If I'm doing a Jamaican accent, get out there. Get out there. Come on. Try it. Give Why not? A, yeah, give us a little. Be bold. <laughs> Was that it? D- yeah, this is my Jamaican. Come this on. is my Jamaican accent. <laughs> I'm just a nice regular guy and I'm from Jamaica. That's I, my Jamaican accent. I haven't heard that. You haven't heard Jamaican Are you a white guy? Like is that a white guy in Jamaica? There are white Jamaicans. There are, but I feel like sometimes they still uh, uh, speak in Patois. Right? What does that sound like? The white guys? Yeah, a white guy D- in Patois. Didn't you see? I've seen, I've seen a video recently of a little girl speaking Patois. Oh, you're thinking of Chet Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're thinking of yeah, Chet Hanks. Yeah, you're so right. Rachel, I have a question for you. Uh huh. What's so true to you? Okay, yes. <clears throat> so for me, I believe that black people right. should be able to believe no worries. one conspiracy theory mm-hmm. without judgment. I think I, yeah, I'm down with that. Yes. What's yours? Um, My, my favorite, although... <laughs> 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 yeah, hedge those bets, baby. <laughs> this is going out, so hedge those bets. No, no, no. It's okay. Yeah. Stevie Wonder can see a little. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. You do not. Sometimes he'd be taking pictures. <laughs> I'm not saying he can see. I'm just saying maybe he can see a little. He can see. <laughs> maybe he got a procedure. To, I don't know. What do you mean he's taking little. pictures? Like there is a picture of him <laughs> taking a picture of like a wax figure of Michael Jackson or something. And I'm like, he's either trolling or he can see a little. He's taking pictures. <laughs> He's, he's catching stuff pretty quick in some videos look i know the other senses are heightened okay and i and i and i believe this man can't see, or couldn't see was born without sight but i'm just saying maybe now he can see just a little you think he developed a little sight I'm like man you know the science is all going all kinds of places yeah science is they're always coming up with something <laughs> You know, and you think they cured his blindness and didn't tell anybody? Well, think about think. Well, come on, come on. You know, bad for the brand at this exactly. point. Exactly. No, it's too late. Yeah, he would have had to been seeing years ago. Yeah, yeah, for it to change the brand. Now people are like, what? Huh? Just go out the way we remember you. Exactly. Keep it classic. Yeah. Keep it mushing. I, keep it mushing. Mm-hmm. Keep it classic and keep it mushing. Mm-hmm. I will say, you saved yourself with a little bit. Yeah. When you say he can see a little bit, yeah. that's what really keeps you in the safe zone. Just a little. That's the important thing for a conspiracy theorist, as yeah. I think you know. It, of you have course. to leave a little bit of like, I don't know. Right. And I I'm could be saying. wrong. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. And I could be. And I probably am. Yeah. In fact, I know I'm wrong. <laughs> no worries. But <laughs> yeah. it's still kind of like, I couldn't be right. But to your point, black people should get one a year. I think so. Because yeah. we've been lied to. Yeah. We've been lied to time and time again. Yeah. This, that, and the other. Do you lie, lie, lie. In this, in your idea, like when mm-hmm. if, if black people get one conspiracy theory, which I'm on board with, yes, does this count as reparations, or do are we still also doing reparations? No, we're gonna need some more. No worries. That. Yeah, I just check in on we're the gonna policy. need a little extra. We're gonna <laughs> yeah. need a little extra. Happy to do it. I don't know how we figure out reparations. It's wild. Yeah. Like I mean, they're trying to do it in California. Are they? Yes, to give reparations, which is hard to me because I'm like, how do you put a price on it ultimately? Not to get to, but, um, yeah, but like, I, cause like, okay. So during the pandemic, you know, a lot of people, I think were doing this where they were sent like white people, they were sending money to any of their black friends or just yes. any black person that they'd ever met. Yes. Um, or just sending a note. I got a note from somebody I was on an improv team with maybe <laughs> 10 years ago or something. Very it was cool. something wild. Not that long. Anyways, but some, this guy, and I was like, 
he's reaching out being like, I hope you're doing well. All of this stuff is so crazy right now. But like, I'm just thinking about you. I'm like, do you really have so few black friends yeah. that you, you had to reach You're dipping into the archive. Like, come on into the Mary Poppins bag <laughs> of like black people you know to pull me out. I'm like, are you kidding? But that I like, but I also had somebody like send me money during that time too, who was like, I don't think I paid you enough for all of this like labor you did. And then it was just like, oh, you've now put a price on it and now you're absolved or he feels absolved. You know, did you absolve him? I mean, I took the money. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. But I, uh, but then afterwards I was like, should I have taken it? But then I was like, I don't really know what the right thing to do would have been. Well, as you know, I am not black and I do apologize. <laughs> But thank you. I should, and thank you for letting me apologize. <laughs> thank you for that. I would say I think you should absolutely anytime a, a white a white person is doing like a big white guilt gesture. Yeah. I would think dealing with white people is exhausting enough that you should just probably take the money. I know. It's just like I just want you to not talk to me anymore. Let it be over. I just want to be done with this. Yeah. But then it's like you walk away and you're like, well, I helped her out, you yeah. know, and I'm like, no, this sucks. I guess <laughs> this a is not bit. cool. Right. <laughs> I, we you and I have talked a little bit about this, but when when white people with followings do you remember during the like the the 2020 stuff when white people with big internet followings were like letting a black person run their account for two days? Yes. Th- people yes. were in my DMs mad that I wasn't doing that. Insane. And I was like, I have to tell you, yeah. this feels to me like if I do this, my black friends are going to make fun of me until the day I die. Right. It no. feels so patronizing yes. to be like, I'm so sorry about the plight of your <laughs> race for many hundreds of years in our country. Yes. I, might it help if you could be me for two days? Right. <laughs> That's insane. No, it doesn't make any sense. We were really poisoned during that time. I think <laughs> no one was really thinking straight. Exactly. There were certain things that were good, of course, but then it was just like, what's going on? Like, I remember there was a girl who like really did, doesn't, hadn't ever fucked with me. Um, <laughs> really did not. Mortal fuck with enemy me. of mine. No, but just, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to give too much. But like, she just like didn't really fuck with me. But then she just like posted me on her story, being like, <laughs> like, and I love this comedian. And I was like, you do? I was what? like, just like, and I love you. And I love these other four <laughs> black girls. Like, these are my favorite girls in comedy. And I was like, huh? Obviously, it's a white woman. But like, I was just like, oh, I, I guess. That had to feel so insane. No, I felt absolutely crazy. I was like, you can't look at me backstage after a show, but you're about to post me like you know me. Anyways. Anyway, who? I'm talking too much shit. No, you didn't <laughs> say a name, but that yeah. is that would feel fucking crazy. It just felt weird. Like, it was just like, oh, you're just pandering. None of this actually means anything to you. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm glad you took the money from that guy. I'll say that. Thank you. I'm happy for that. I bought an Apple Watch. Did you? That I still have. He sent you, oh, he sent you a <laughs> lot of money. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, things were bad. Well, you know, things were going well. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, that's nice. I still have the Apple Watch, and ultimately I do think about it from time to time. When I, yeah, when I'm checking my steps, I think of this man. And I say, oh. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Mm. Well, okay, so what's so true to you is that black people should get a conspiracy yeah. and free of judgment. I yes. love that. Yeah. And I'll go in uh, with you on that. Thank you. I had a so true that I was thinking of this morning. Yes. But I can't remember what it was. What mm. was I upset about this morning? Mm. I was in the shower. I was in the shower talking out loud to myself. <laughs> I, do you ever do that? Of course. I was in the shower going, these fucking people. I was so mad about something that somebody was doing. No. My so true this morning. What was it? God damn it. I can't remember it. But I was hot this morning. Something damn. happened that had me hot. Damn. But this isn't, I get, I get real rageful about something for 20 seconds and then I move on. And you let it go. Yeah. But that's good. I do think it's the best thing. That's excellent. Holding on to it, that's the worst. Yeah. Then it comes out at really weird, random times and now you're like yelling at somebody like, I don't know. Yeah. Then I have, I, I don't know. I'd be having road rage, you know? Well. Out of nowhere. Oh, I. Or something. You do not have to talk to me about <laughs> it. I definitely have. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a great driver, but I'm, hey, I have opinions out there. Of course. Here's something I want to say. acting up. Broker fees. Okay. To get an apartment. Mm-hmm. Enjoy hell. <laughs> Y'all are all going to hell. Every one of you are going to hell. Yeah. I just paid. Yeah. A fifty nine hundred dollar broker fee. Yeah. To get an apartment. Yeah. I don't get that back. That's yeah. not a deposit. That doesn't yeah, come yeah, back yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just goes to the yeah. real estate group who they sent one 22 year old girl to be mean to me and open up the apartment for twenty minutes. Yes. She wasn't even nice to me and I was being charming. <laughs> I was like, I, w- I walked up to the apartment. And I said, I said, hey, how's it going? Thanks for showing it to me. She goes, it's fine. Here you go. It's such a scam. I said, first of all, you're a tween. 
<laughs> they couldn't even send an adult to deal with me. This is the most disrespectful yeah. situation I've ever been in. Then I'm asking her questions about the apartment. I'm like, how many units in the building? She's like, I don't know, probably like 20. I'm like, probably what? like. <laughs> probably like. <laughs> Yeah. Can I get an adult in the room? No. The I I feel like the broker's fee is truly one of the biggest scams. Like is I don't feel like it's in LA though. This was in New York, yeah. They have like a broker's fee. But I'm like it's so like what is the point of this? And who does this money go to? You know? Well, it goes LA, straight to them, but like for what? LA's better because if you rent an apartment over a certain amount per month in LA, mm-hmm. they can't charge you a broker's fee. They can only charge the owner. Which makes sense. That's how it should be. Yes. I'm getting you a quality yes. tenant who's going to come yes. in here and pay the rent on time yes. and not fuck up the walls or whatever. Yes. You should pay them. Not yes. me. Why the fuck am I paying the them? The landlord should always pay. But in New York, it's so hard to find a good apartment that they have everyone over a fucking barrel. Oh, they do. It's insane. It's disgusting. And the, oh, the kinds of deposits that they used to try and make you pay? Baby. The first, the, the middle, the last, the in between. I said, what yeah. are we doing? Yeah, they're like, we want, we want first, <laughs> last, third, and sixth. <laughs> How about I just pay? How about I buy the fucking apartments? That <laughs> right. sound good? God but people, damn. people, I mean, I there was like an apartment, uh, but this is actually out here when it was like uh, just a bad time, just like during, like right after COVID or whatever. And there was a, somebody who came in. They were like, "Oh, offered to pay for the full year." Like yeah. their parents offered to pay for the full year of the apartment. And I'm like, "Well, n- none of us are competing with that." Yeah. Like, no, I'm not going to pay you whatever forty thousand dollars out of my pocket right away. Yeah, that's I'm, crazy. I'm not set up that way. No, I did. I I did uh, the apartment I just rented in New York. I had to go up and rent to like get the place. Yeah. To compete with the other people who applied. And I was like, wow. I'll go up a little bit. Yeah. I'm not going up much more than the place. But the place, the thing is, the place I just got is, yeah. it was underpriced, I will say. I see. They're not charging as much as they should have been. So I was like, I'm happy to go up a little bit because right. it was under my budget. Yeah. But these people are insane. No, people will go out nuts. It's out of control. Mm-hmm. Renting is so, we need a federal rent control. We need yes. regulation on the highest level. Yes, yes, I'm ready yes, for yes. It. Yeah. I just got a rent increase at my place. How and much? I was like, about, well, listen, not that much. Okay. Not too bad. You're like 50 bucks? No, it was like, <laughs> okay, but it's the principle. It's the principle. It was about $80, but it's the principle, yeah, okay? Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, because this place is not that nice. Yeah. I mean, it's nice enough, but it's not that like, I nice. I look like shit. <laughs> You know, it's cute, okay, or whatever, but, like, there are issues, you know? Yeah. Sometimes the elevator just stops. It's not working. Right. Today. Or, Stairs. like, uh, I don't know. They're just like, oh, it's not working. You can't get out of it. Stair time. Yeah. It's time to walk. And I'm like, come on, but I'm paying for the elevator. Yeah. Am I right? Am I- Come on, I'm paying for the elevator. I'll always be. You're not going to find me siding with the landlord. All right. I'll tell you that. Look, the, the there's a gym downstairs. Technically, the gym should be a full gym. You know yeah. what I mean? You're using all the equipment. All the equipment should work, right? Yeah. The light should be able to turn on. Think again. That kind of thing. Yeah. You know? No. Yeah. The elliptical hasn't worked in years. I don't know when the last time. That thing makes so much noise. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. The bike is by the door. If someone opens it, they're going to hit you. And guess what they're not going to do with that extra $80 a month from you? No. Fix the elliptical. They're not fixing nothing. No. But I'm about to ask for some things. I'll tell you what. Yeah, when, you're, hey, <laughs> when, you're, when your landlord raises the rent, the only thing they're fixing to do is go on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Take it to the stage. You know what I mean? <laughs> take it to the stage, honey. The only thing they're yes. fixing is their situation in the Bahamas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're killing. You're killing. (laughs) That is so stupid. No, it's good. You want to know my new favorite joke? Huh? Picture this. I'm in a pharmacy in Paris. Okay. (laughs) I'm only the listeners. I'm going to try to tell this every episode now. No, I'm not. I will tell you, though. Uh Uh-huh. I'm in a pharmacy in Paris. All right. I'm trying to make my friend laugh. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're in the feminine hygiene section. Mm -hmm. I turn to my friend and I go, okay, feminine hygiene. I'll give it a try. Hi, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a real comedian right there. Respecting the craft. A true love for the form. You go full clean comic yeah. like that? <laughs> that's pretty good. I get on stage and I go, uh, when, you're real, when your landlord raises rent, the only thing they're fixing is fixing to go on another vacation. <laughs> I put feminine hygiene oh. in there. I would, if, let me tell you something. Yes. If y'all ever see me take a turn into Christian comedy, yes. keep your mouth shut. Yeah. I'm buying a private jet. Exactly. They <laughs> fucking pay. No, and yes. And I would kill. Yes. I would kill. Oh, the you know, yeah, y'all ever notice the different ways that people hold up their hands during worship? 
Already laughing. <laughs> Already dead, 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 dead. Screaming, dead, dead. laughing. Private jet, yes, private jet, yes, private jet. Yes. Home, new home, new home. You're doing this one. They're like, that's all you, you know? Queen yeah, Christian yeah, yeah, comics yeah, yeah, yeah. are raking it in. And if yes. you ever see me make a turn, know that my heart was not changed. No. I did not find God. Jesus did not enter no. in my life. I got serious about my money. I won't say a word. Thank you. I will know what's happening and I'll say, keep it going. Keep it going. And just yes. know that on the side, I am silently donating a lot of money to progressive causes. Yeah. But if you see me doing a, a Christian arena church tour about what's going on with our men and boys, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> just know, just know I'm getting paid no. handsomely. You're, you're crushing though. Yeah. You're making so much money. In I that would kill period. in there. Feminine oh hygiene is going to go platinum in there. Yes. Feminine hygiene it. would go platinum at a Christian men's conference in Missouri. There was like a set I watched or like part of a set that was just like a bunch of teachers doing comedy for other teachers yeah. and the teachers like they're not even necessarily full stand up comedians. They're just like very funny teachers. And yeah. I'm like, they're crushing and they're going around the country. They're, and it's not, it's not even full jokes. No, it's students. They're like students don't really turn in their homework dying yes yes yeah. yes yes you know you know when the kids don't sit in their seat right ah! yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> you know when they sit like this ah! yeah 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 you always got to put the talkative one in a new seat <laughs> ah! yeah. 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 yeah yeah that's kind of what i do for gay people <laughs> yeah yeah i'm like y'all ever heard of grinder they go, they, they scream, they fall out of their chairs, they bleed out of the eyes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're having the time of their life. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm like, feeling seen. I'm like, yeah, I'm a topic comic for lesbians. Mm-hmm. I go, I go, I go, not when you get a girlfriend and you guys have to move in right away. <laughs> lesbians scream, shout, throw They're their shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love it. Yeah. They unlace their docks, they throw them. Oh, yeah, I was they thinking love Birkenstocks. It. Birkenstocks, it, yeah, either one. Could either be either. One. It's, so you could do my job as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, it could have been Birkenstocks. No yeah, worries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. throw their their copy of All About Love by Bell Hooks. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, you just toss it yeah, up on the stage. That's yeah. what they do for me. They it's love me. It's sitting on the middle of my table. What do you want? All About Love. Hmm? What's that? What do you want? What do I want? Out of life. Me? What are you doing this for? What am I doing all of it what for? What are you doing all this for? You're a, you're a brilliant comedian. You're Get so out. talented. You're an incredible writer. You're a very successful writer. Get out. Things are going well. You're writing TV shows. You're making money. You're oh an NYU God. graduate. You're making your family <laughs> proud. <laughs> Your mom and dad are, you're, they're in Denton, they're smiling big. <laughs> they love to see Rachel Lennon, and so do I. But what's oh, it all for? What is it all for? Oh my God. I don't know. Come on. Just having a good time. That has know. been an answer recently. People are really digging that one. Yeah. Yeah. Having a nice time. People are liking to have a nice time. I don't know. I think I'm doing it not to be, not to be, but. I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm doing it because I'm trying to write and make things that speak to a younger version of me and people like me that I think is important. Yeah. Yeah. I, there, I, a big thing that's been coming up with a lot of my artistic friends recently is just like inner child stuff. Yeah. And thinking about like what is going on with, yeah, what is going on with 10 year old you, 12 year old yeah. you? What did they want to see? Yeah. Or what life would they have wanted you to live? Yeah. I think like especially in like a lot of people's like solo shows and longer pieces that I've been watching. It feels like a lot of it is a nerd thing, like something to do with that. Even if it's not like directly about like a uh, childhood, something going on, it's like, Oh, there's like some way in which you're trying to like heal a little bit. And I kind of, but being very funny, I think that's actually the key. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I really resonate with that. So. I asked some friends at dinner this recently, and I'm curious what your answer would be because I feel like you have really good taste in music. Mm. What if you could only hear two albums for the rest of your life? And when I say that, I don't mean just like when you sit down to listen to music. I go when you're hearing music in the grocery store, in a cab, when you hear music in a movie or TV show, mm -hmm. it would all be replaced with only some music from these two records. Mm -hmm. What would your two albums be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My, I've, it's hard to choose, obviously, but the two I've been saying that I think cover the widest range of things for me yeah. are the Chicks Fly album, <gasps> formerly yeah. the Dixie Chicks, and Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. Those two uh, albums together, I'm like, I could do anything with something off of those. Oh my God. Yes. I'm so bad with off the, like knowing off the cuff. I'm like, what music do I like? I'm only thinking of the music that I last listened to. It's like the city girls. It's not going to be the city <laughs> girls. <laughs> <laughs> love the city, like, oh, girls. city girls it's not that's a great answer be the city girls that doesn't feel correct um i think it would be tapestry mm -hmm. carol king and then <laughs> i 
going absolutely brain dead. No, I'm like just searching through the things and I'm like, well, what's the most like actually resonant, meaningful that I really like? Tapestry by Carol King is a really I good love one. love that one. That's a really good one. It's like, I kind of return to it all the time. Yeah, so I'm trying to think of the things that I return to. I mean, honestly, I was coming, not coming for, but I did have my sort of conspiracy theory around Stevie Wonder. But Stevie Wonder is a very important... You can do songs in the key of life? Yeah. Didn't you see him live? Well, so so that's actually an interesting... Well, so so here's what happened. <laughs> I, okay, so I was at... You're like, why are you... It's like you're all... I'm like, something's all really going on with you and Stevie. <laughs> yeah, spiritually, we're connected. Um... No, I was at a concert in the park. There was just like a DJ who was like playing Stevie Wonder tribute. Yeah. Like just all his music remixing, whatever, and everyone. It's like a bunch of families. People are dancing, having a nice time. It's really cute. And, you know, you're just chilling. Like it's just it's just the DJ Day in the park. In yeah. the park. So then I know where the DJ sort of announces like, hey, like Stevie Wonder's here. And I was like, no, he's not. <laughs> As a, at the park? Yeah. Specifically, it was MacArthur Park. Yeah. So like downtown, oh, Stevie Wonder's at MacArthur Park? Sure. Sure, baby. But everyone's rushing the stage and I'm like, oh, realizing he's here. He's come to the park. Yeah. He's come to be amongst the people. And he was really just there to kind of hang out and like be, be like, hello. Like, like bobbing his head. He's up? like, this is a good one, yeah. He wanted to like, he wanted us to sing a bit of a song. He was like teaching us the parts at one point That's for amazing. a song that he had created and then getting mad at us for not getting it right okay. and being like, somebody's off. Stop, stop, stop. Somebody's <laughs> off. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, we're not singers. We also didn't know this was going to happen. You know, no one's warmed up. Like, give us a chance. But no, he was like there and then he started singing. Um, and then he, at one point he was like, hey, now listen, tomorrow... I want everyone to listen to me, okay? 6 a.m. tomorrow. 6 a.m. I need you to do something for me. Everyone's like, yes, Stevie, yes, yes. Like, I'm going to need you to pray. <laughs> and they say, yes, I'm going to need you to be, just be at your home, and I need you to pray. Pray for a cure to cancer. Well... And that's it. And he and said, did you? and that was it. And did you? <laughs> did I pray? Yes. Well, I, I, not at 6 a.m., but later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, hey, I hate cancer as much as the next guy, but I'm not getting up. Well, I was sort of like, it just kind of came out of nowhere. We were, we were, he wasn't even talking. No one was talking about cancer. <laughs> cancer wasn't even on the menu. But then he was like, we need a cure. And I said, well, that's not wrong. Yeah. Hey. It's not incorrect. Yeah, he's right. I'd love for it to be gone, I Stevie. do hate cancer. Yeah. But. But what are we talking about? Yeah. And what are you doing here? Yeah. And then he left for a little while. Okay. And then he came back. <laughs> he came back to just sing a little bit and talk a little bit. Left again. <laughs> What? How are you going to feel when the news breaks in like two weeks that he has cancer? He has cancer and he's about to leave us? You're going to feel crazy. That he's I like, didn't. He's dropping all these hints. He's like, I just need y'all to pray tomorrow <laughs> at 6 a.m. He's got like an appointment. <laughs> he's like, 6 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah. Pray for anybody who's at Cedar sinai receiving oh. secret treatment for cancer. Yeah. Well, you know, and then I'll be happy that I got to see him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. Got it in under the wire, yeah. Well, you know, to get right before he goes. No worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I got a segment for you. Huh? Guess what? I'm going to read you 15 statements. You're going to tell me as quickly as you can if you think they're true or false. Okay. And let me tell you something, Rachel. Uh-huh. If you get 10 or more correct, yes. I'm going to give you 50 US dollars. What the heck? Exactly correct. <laughs> Kim Possible aired on Cartoon Network. Yeah, no. False. It was false. Disney <laughs> Channel. Sharks are technically mammals, not fish. D false. False, they're fish. Ooh. There are 73 books in the Catholic Bible. True. True. Daniel Radcliffe has been in two Broadway shows. True. False, five. <laughs> Key West, Florida is the southernmost point in the continental United States. True. True. Sloths have wings. False. False. Audrey McDonald was born in New York City. True. False, Berlin, Germany. 1.3 million planet Earths could fit inside the sun. True. True. That's, whew, I don't like to think about that. Prior to the year 1800, 43% of all people died before reaching the age of five. Tr true. True. That's true. Who? The largest wedding veil on record was over four miles long. False. True. Oh. The Dallas Cowboys were originally the Fort Worth Fighting Footballers. <laughs> no. What? <False. laughs> the, the first iPhone was released in 2007. True. True. The Great Fire of London only caused six deaths. True. True. Don Knotts is a fictional character. False. False. Lighters were invented before matches. True. True. Twelve. Ah! You, that's the what? best one we've had in a long really? time. Yeah. <laughs> 
really, really wow. impressive. Good job. Thanks. You, that's better than uh, when was the last time we had a twelve months. My guests are not really. I'm tapped in. You're tapped in, included. <laughs> I'm tapped in all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you're yeah, smart. Yeah. A lot of my guests are a little on the, <laughs> a little on the dingbat side. A little silly. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit goofy. A little on the dingbat side. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Guess what? <laughs> We'd kill at Christian conference. <laughs> crush yeah i lived out in la for a while uh, let's just say my friends were a little on the dingbat side <laughs> yeah, let's say i had a couple friends whose hair uh. color they weren't born with <laughs> oh. okay you might be a dingbat if you might be a, you might be a dingbat <laughs> <laughs> come on that's going on the shirt we need to form a that's duo good. we need to form a duo yes 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 you ever watch righteous gemstones Yes. We need to form like uh, Amy Lee and Baby Billy. <laughs> Please get us Miss on the road. Miss Behaven. People, I think what would be crazy is like people would really love it. Yeah. But maybe be confused if it's real or not. Yeah. <laughs> you, I, you think you and I, if it, it, su- it suits us. Yes. Earnestness. Like an earnest Christian wholesome, comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, could yeah. get there. And then at the end, we're asking people if they want to dedicate their life to Christ. Yeah, come down <laughs> to the altar, why not? Yes. Running through the house with a pickle in my mouth. Come on. Misbehaving. You know that song? Uh-huh. Love that song. It's nice. You and I would do good as a Christian duo. I agree. We could do like a modern twist on it too. Like a young person's Christianity. Yeah, we're doing some claps. We're getting people going. Yeah, we're like using internet <laughs> slang. Uh-huh. We're like, notice how I show up to church? Very demure. <laughs> Very and cute crushing, at service. Yeah, they we're kind of getting like all different demographics too, you know. Yeah. So we're like getting people in their early twenties, but we're also catching people in their sixties. Yeah, they're enjoying it exactly because uh-huh. they're like, I don't know what they're saying, but it, the young people eat it up. Yes, I'm like, I think the apple's rotten straight to the core. Eve shouldn't have eaten it, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, Oh yeah, my yeah, god! Yeah. It's like, what was Eve doing? Yeah, you know, what was she thinking? Eve, you crazy dumb Come bitch! <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we, do, we, we take it a little too far. <laughs> Eve, you stupid bitch! <laughs> These, there's one ah, rule, bitch. Like we really go in. Stay still, Eve. Yeah. Okay? Mind your business. Yeah. All right? There's Get out of There's a snake that can talk, you fucking idiot. Yeah. You stupid little bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take your hair out of your fucking eyes. <laughs> you long-haired c- <laughs> they're like oh fuck they go oh we maybe shouldn't have hired these two <laughs> these two are not actually given <laughs> yeah you raggedy old whore you're adam's little whore okay, aren't you Eve? rachel yeah with your all your holes open don't bent bring, over oh uh, don't bring adam yeah, your into holes it open for jesus Ew. he hasn't even been born yet you yeah, idiot rachel yeah you bitch you're sick yeah let adam spit in your fucking hole bitch <laughs> Learn, learn to fucking live a little. Did you say Eve? spit in your hole? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a guest make me as uncomfortable <laughs> as you are. Okay, are we not having freaky You're sex or really what? No, are we not spitting out here? in holes? Are we not out here having yeah, freaky sex? Yeah, I mean, it's happening yeah, for exactly. sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we're licking the pits. We're having some fun. We're licking the pits. Yeah, we're... D- we're <laughs> Come yeah. on, brother. Yeah, we're kind of getting in there. Exactly. Getting in the creases. I love your energy. Let me get behind an elbow crease. Yeah. Let me look what are you in doing there. over Let there? Let me bite it. I don't you, know. You're going to bite the elbow crease? I'm going to fool around in it. You're getting in there. I'm going to get in there and I'll figure it out scaring the hell out of me <laughs> yeah. i know your prof- i know your professor boyfriend i didn't know he was really dealing with all that i'm just saying this is how I, this is how i am this is who i am yeah you're yeah. doing elbow crease stuff yeah, elbow crease stuff for the girls for the boys i've always said that about you mm-hmm. yeah because you're a little lesbian yeah that's what they're calling it i'm <laughs> a little lesbian yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy yeah. well thanks for being on oh my god thank you for having me i think the world of you i think the world of you i just think you're a genius and i just love you oh my god will you tell the people where they can find you they can find me on instagram at i am rachel Pegram. And you t- truly are. You really are, Rachel. That's Pegram. all it is. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah. Bye.